Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sandblaster1980 in here. This is my first Tokusatsu review. For those unaware, Tokusatsu is the term used in Japan for live action superhero series such as Ultraman, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai and Power Rangers, and the one Japanese 1970 Spider-Man show that everyone seems to forget about. Today's subject, Wolkaiser from Maho Sentai Magi Ranger or the Centaurus Wolf Megazord from Power Rangers Mystic Force. Sadly, this figure was never actually released in the Mystic Force toy line, although it was initially planned. Its minor retool, the Bright Star Unicorn of a Phoenix Unizord, did get released, but this did not. Anyway, moving on. This is Korag the Nightwolf, aka Wolzard, the Dark Nightwolf Wizard, the yeah, main bad guy of Mystic Force and Magic Ranger. Also secretly the Red Ranger's father. As such, the Korag minifigure is an extensive retool of the Phoenix Sword, the Red Ranger component of a Titan Megazord box set team. Same articulation, same transformation mechanics, etc. We'll get back to a Phoenix in a moment. Anyway, Korag has no neck articulation due to the way the head transforms. 360 degrees at the shoulder, plus two to three yeah, outwards movements of fair uh, ratchet clicking. The front hip skirt can come up and down to accommodate the leg movement, which can move forward and back and add a couple of clicks. This broken leg joint is for Titan Megazord transformation mode, so I won't be covering that till next week. Knee bend, almost, not quite 90 degrees. Nothing at the feet, nothing at the wrists, no elbows, and the Phoenix Sword has the same articulation because it's a retool. Anyway, moving on, this is Catastros, Korang's pet horse and uh, Zord. Korang can sit on top of Catastros like so. Get the legs in the right position and peg the clips from the back of Korang's flies into the peg holes on Catastros' back. This may be an exclusively Japanese figure, but for the sake of simplicity, I will be using the character's American name for this review, as most of my viewers will be in the UK and US. Apologies for the random jump cut. Korang's legs have gone a bit floppy lately. Don't know how that's happened, but... As you can see, he can just about awkwardly mount Catastros in horse mode. And, of course, he has a sword and shield because he's a knight, and of course, what kind of knight would be a knight without a sword and shield combo? The sword can store inside the shield, and the handle flips out to place inside Korang's hand. Solid black, unpainted plastic, but fully moulded in the same shape as the sword from the show. You'll have to watch the series to see what colour it's meant to be. Moving on. As this is the Centaurus Wolf Megazord, it also has a Centaur configuration. Putting Conrad's shield and sword back together. What you have to do first is decapitate Catastros. And then open these panels at the front. Clip Conrad's legs into place. Close the panels up. Then pull the face off Catastros' head and straighten the mane to become a point. Open up the handle and connect the horse head to the back to form a lance. Now Korag can hold this but it's tricky to get the handle out so I'm just going to hold it in place for an effect here. From here, we can combine to Centaurus Wolf Megazord mode by removing Korag's shield, opening this panel at the back of the head to flip the head back inside, close the panel up, peg the shield to the chest plate, 
and bring blue. Arms forward on this dislocation joint. So the wolf hands on his shoulders, face forward, and the hands grip the lower handles of the shield, like so. Remove the tail, that will come into play later. Plug the tail onto the lance to become a new weapon. Then extend the hoof extensions downwards to become heels and then flip the stirrups down to become the new feet and shins, rotating them 180 degrees to reveal the full lower legs of a Megazord in the process. Then come to the underside, bring the arms downwards, bring the back legs of the horse up, split the arms, bring this panel down, rotate this whole assembly 180 degrees, bring it up, slide the whole assembly back down again and lock it into place. Then connect the horse head this way up and flip down the panel underneath to bring out the Megazord face. Sombol Unifos Equestras Centaurus Wolf Megazord. And he can wield the lance like so. As Megazords go, there is relatively little articulation, pretty much none to speak of, aside from the up and down shoulders and the in and out forearms. Nothing else, unfortunately. However, it does display one of my favourite colour patterns of all time of black, gold, silver, and purple. Definitely something that I know certain other reviewers, such as TJ Omega, will like, given their affinity towards certain similar coloured Decepticons. Scorp! Anyway, for comparison, here is the Centaurus Wolf Megazord next to the Phoenix Zord from the Titan Megazord set. The Steedagon Fury Megazord, or Phoenix Unizord figure, which is the American retool of Centaurus Wolf, does come with the Phoenix Zord, but the Phoenix Zord that comes with that figure has the gold Mystic Force symbol on the chest plate and shoulders. This is the one from the main team Megazord, which has the red chest plate. We'll get back to him in a minute. For another comparison, Takara Legends Blur, who I will eventually be reviewing. I've just got a few other things in the pipeline first. Now, the same combination mechanics that Korag uses for the Centaurus Wolf Megazord can also be used by the Red Ranger for the Centaurus Phoenix Megazord, as seen in the episode Legendary Catastrophe of the American Mystic Force series. Apologies again for the random jump cut, but because of Korag's floppy legs and the similar transformation mechanics between him and the Phoenix Zord, I had to use jump cuts to get things sped up a little. As you can see, the Phoenix Zord looks uh, pretty out of place with the red and the flat grey as opposed to the purple and the silver and the gold that Korag had. But, again, the Phoenix Zord can, if I could get the handle out, wield the lance from this mode. Transformation back to Centaurus Megazord mode is almost the same, but it involves the tail. You see, in the Titan Megazord combination, the main Team Megazord from Mystic Force, the Pink Ranger Zord from Mystic Sprite will clip between the dislocated Phoenix Zord arms to form a chest plate for the Megazord. Which is pretty much also how it deals with the tail of this combo. So.
to begin with, clip the tail onto one of the Phoenix Zord arms. Then dislocate the arms and bring them together. Clip the tail component into place. Swing the actual tail part of the tail around to form the rest of the face plate. Swing it forward again and bring the arm assembly back into place. And this is the Centaurus Phoenix Megazord, the good guy equivalent. Because the Red Ranger was Korag's long lost son, he could control the Yen Catastros horse when no one else could. Same articulation because it's the same basic body, just up and down shoulders and slightly outwards arm movement, nothing else. Here's the letter again for comparison. And that just about wraps things up. Thank you for joining me with my first ever both tokusatsu review and Japanese tokusatsu review at the same time. Join me next week when I continue the Mystic Force Power Surge with the Titan Megazord. Good luck and may the power protect you.